What's up my Z babies? I am back with another video. We are about to do a brow tutorial. Let's get it. So now I'm taking my um brow pencil and I am brushing out my brows. Yes, and before you start on your brows, y'all, make sure you get the little uh, razor. You know them little hairs that be sticking out. You got to get them away, baby. Because if you ain't going to get your eyebrows waxed, which I need to do. But if you ain't going to get them waxed, go ahead and get them little hairs out. I'm about to be going in with these two, three four lighter shades at the bottom of my brow and what I do is I outline it because I used to use the pencil to start it off but since I have not got my eyebrows waxed in so long because how sensitive my skin is I just found it this a more convenient way an easier way for me to do it my brows and it creates my creates it created it creates my arch very well for me so I mean even if your eyebrows are not thick you can still outline your brows and then fill them in with a pencil or eyebrow dip whichever whatever way you prefer to do your brows whatever makes you comfortable whatever you like is what you can do period that's just what I do but I use this lighter shade at the bottom because I'm on my the bottom eyes my bottom eyes to pop so I'm about to do the same thing that I did on the other eye to this eye I think this is the brow that sometimes I'll be messing up on and yes I do that I make sure that they are the ends where I'm starting, I make sure they line up with each other. Because you don't want to have one brown going br brown. <laughs> one brown going up and the other down. Sometimes that's just how people brows are. But you can still make them line up with each other. So that's just what I do. So I normally go in with the shade fine for my top brow, but since this is just the eyebrow tutorial, I'm just going to use the same shades I use for the bottom, and I'm going to do, be doing the same thing that I'm doing up here, and try to get my, uh, my, um, get my brow the way I want to. I can't get my words out, but... <laughs> I think I get what I'm trying to say. I'm doing the same thing I did at the bottom. So. And I want to say, y'all, for the beginners, you know, while you are doing your brows, make sure you take your time because you want it to look good in the best way possible. I have learned that. Um, with the crease, <clears throat> not the crease, um, the concealer, take your time with that. You want to, you don't want to rush. You don't want to miss the spine either. You want it to be perfect. You don't want to go too fast. Do it slow. Take your time with it. I'm still learning how to do that now because I be trying to get it on done. But take your time with it. 
So now I'm about to do the same thing that I did on the other eye to the other. I'm using the same shade. As y'all can see. Duh. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I don't know why I keep saying I like I'm doing a freaking eye look. I meant to say brow. <laughs> Excuse me. As y'all can tell, look in my face. Look on my face, baby. I messed up on my, um, I messed up, okay? But I can always go back and fix, fix it. Now that you have got the concealing part done, you go in with your brow, your, your eyebrow pencil. You fill it in. Now you can use a pomade eyebrow dip. Make sure if you are using a eyebrow pencil or pomade, you are using a natural brown. I've learned that you do not want to use black because you want it to look natural. So you get brown. Whatever brown looks good for you, but make sure that it is a natural brown. So I'm gonna show y'all a little something, something that I just started doing. I got this for my favorite makeup artist. So these will keep your eyebrows in place. You know how you have the little brows sticking up. So you get it. You get the look. You get a little bit. Don't get a lot. You put it on your spoolie, and you just take it and put it on your brows. Don't get a lot because you don't want your. If especially if you got white. I actually you don't want it to look white, but this just keep your eyebrows in place. And I have done this when I have went out and stuff, and I had games. Um, my brows weren't sticking out of place like they were before. It keeps it in place, so I would prefer you guys to do this. So now that I had got that over with, we are going to use one of my little sponges, and we are going to blend. Make sure you blend, 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 blend that is the most important part but i'm not going to be blending completely because it's just a tutorial excuse me it's just a tutorial so and as you can see i forgot to put the glue on the other eye but still put the glue on the eye that's what i prefer because it keeps your eyebrows in place i really thought that that was neat so make sure you blend 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 especially when you're wearing you know um makeup blend Ooh. also ladies you also want to take your time blending too because you could be blending and you mess up a part of your eyebrow and I did that before, and I think I had to start over. That really made me mad. Okay, so, just take your time blending. I probably should just do one brown for y'all. Cause when I do my make my brows, it be so I be so tired, bro. Like I could be doing so good. And then the other brow just just mess everything up, like issues. Yeah, I'm not gonna fully blend, blend because. 
because you know I'm not doing a full face. Just giving you the tutorial. But still you guys make sure you blend all the way. what I mean. Make sure y'all delete the, the middle. Because you don't want to go anywhere and you got to look like you got a unibrow. Uh-uh. I said I'm probably going to do another um, YouTube video. This is it, y'all. The one I was just pointing to, that's the brow that actually looked like some. I had to erase the other brow because the other brow really just booty to me. I don't like it. So, yeah. I might do another YouTube video today. I might not. So that's it, my Z babies, for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Post on your social media. Period. And this is it.